What was supposed to be a day hike through snowy Zion National Park turned into, turned into a nightmare for Osman and his girlfriend, Jessica McNeil. In order to get help. Ryan has hypothermia and a couple of minor injuries, but otherwise is expected to be okay. It really is an incredible story <laughs> oh, of, of survival and commitment and love, ultimately. It's a great love story. We're checking on him at his home in Mesa, coming up for you on 12 News at 5. And, and you know, again, this is the stuff that you make a movie out of. Yeah. Like, you know, honey, don't don't save me, save yourself. And she goes through waist deep, freezing water. Three hours. To get to where her cell phone works. Yeah, and it, and it goes to show you, and we've covered these stories over the years, no matter what level of hiker you are or outdoors person, you know, the weather conditions really permeated that quicksand and, and however that came to be. But... Uh, they were somewhat experienced and it, and it can happen to anybody at any time. So and, and think how much cell phones have come. I mean, oh, without a man. cell phone in this equation, they're probably both goners. Yeah. Right. right. So just just thank goodness that yes. they're alive, really. Absolutely. Can't wait to hear more about their harrowing ordeal. First and foremost, SeaWorld is apologizing after a mechanical failure led to more than a dozen people becoming stranded on a San Diego gondola ride. Yeah, this was scary stuff. Three and a half hours from start to finish during last night's near freezing temperatures in San Diego. Yeah, SeaWorld says the ride will be thoroughly inspected before it is reopened. Is it me or have we seen a rash of these? Yeah, there's been several. <laughs> there's been several over the past so couple scary. of years. It, makes you think twice. it does make you think. If I'm going to put my loved one on this particular ride, how safe is it? Right. I know. You know. Sometimes you go to the fair and you go, hmm. I don't know <laughs> about I? this right. one. But you would think SeaWorld would be a little. <laughs> yeah. You, you uh, yeah. would think. <laughs> right. Well, new this afternoon, TMZ is reporting. Do you think people are convicting him too soon? Do you think there's a chance that this could be true? It well, seems like it all points. Police. Yeah. I mean, they're you know sending their detectives in on this, and they're you know this is what they're coming up with. It's hard to argue the facts. Yeah. I mean, you hope it's you hope it's not untrue, it's, but it seems like true, all signs it's are pointing. It's so oh, sad. It, it really is. It's just so sad because what what happens is it really hurts people that are legitimate victims right. of hate crimes, exactly. and there are a lot of them out there right. because now it casts a shadow of doubt on all of these hate crimes, and that's really unfortunate. Well, and it, it just befuddles me to think that, okay, this was, again, if these, that, if these allegations are true, that the great lengths he would go to to get this attention, to try to, you know, keep this starring role, you know? I mean, right, I don't know if yeah. you guys watch Empire, but... It, I it don't, just, but I've heard it's, it's a, a wonderful show. Right, and it, I, I guess from hearing, you know, from the talk shows and everything like that, that there's a lot of scheming involved, mm -hmm. and this kind of fits the vein of this whole experience yeah. that we're seeing unravel before our very eyes. So it's just very disturbing the mentality that somebody would have if this is all true. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I agree. so sad. Well, moving on, first at four, we're following around. <laughs> Manny Machado has reportedly reached a deal with the Padres. The deal calls for him to make a historic $300 wow. million dollars over the next 10 seasons. I, th I think you <laughs> Obviously, this is a huge deal. The largest free agent contract in professional sports history. So we want you guys to weigh in at home. If you signed a $300,000 contract, what's the first fun thing that you would buy? Text us right now, 602-444-1212. What about you guys? I think I'd buy a second home at the beach. Not bad. Yeah. yeah, that's what I would want. Yeah, that, and I a get jet my... to fly. Yeah. <laughs> fly, fly back and forth. You don't have to go through TSA or any yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. I think I would buy the house that I grew up in in Miami, Florida. Oh, know? that's cool. Because my, my parents sold it a few years ago, mm -hmm. and, but I would love to have that home back. Great, so I, yeah. great memories. Yeah, so I just just so many good memories in that home. So I think that's yeah. the first. About, that, that I'd buy three other houses. How three other houses. Uh, well, we would love a cabin. Yeah. Cabin on the lake. That'd Beach be house wouldn't be bad either. Yeah. It depends if you're a mountain person or a beach. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're kind of leaning more towards the cabin, yeah. but yeah, beach. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. First and foremost, we are following some sad news in the world of fashion today. One of the industry's most creative talents and influencers has died. T12's Dan Sheneman reports on the life and legacy of Carl Lagerfeld. Vogue magazine. <laughs>
<laughs> so you guys are laughing. Uh, been there, done that. What's what's the deal here? Hey, I just think if it was good for Rob and Laura Petri, it's good enough for me. I would, heck, we like sleeping in separate beds. And Lucy and Ricky slept, oh. slept in separate beds. They I'm always you. fresh the next day. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, I did this last night, but that's because my little guy was sick. <laughs> yeah. So I slept in his bed. See, it's it, a full-size bed. You know, it, you know it, it's, kind of, it's kind of like if people think you're not sleeping in the same bed, you, you know, you're not getting... <gasps> Here's it's over. Feet, but, yeah. like, but it's you like, you know... sleep in the same bed and get elbowed on. <laughs> right. Snoring. You're right. snoring. You're snoring. Yes. Or do you want to have a good night's sleep and have oh. your partner have a good night's sleep? Exactly. Well, sometimes one of you is sick. You know, yeah. so it's like, you don't want your germs and, and all my, that. And my wife gets, she, she's one of the, you know those people that need eight hours or they go nuts. Yeah. They, they're, oh. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I could Sleep go, is everything. Yeah, it wasn't, it was seven hours and 15 minutes. Okay, oh my seven goodness. seven to eight hours. I need a nap. Oh. Okay. So Sleep frustrating. All right. Take a look up in the sky to see the snow moon. Tonight is the largest full moon of the year. Well, for today's hashtag, in case you missed it moment, John Legend stopped by Ellen today to talk about the upcoming season of The Voice. And apparently the other judges are not being very nice to him. Take a look. It seems threatened by you. <laughs> well, yeah, rightfully so. John Legend is a heavyweight. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Yeah, you can catch John Legend and the other judge judges for the season 16 premiere of The Voice Monday, February 25th at 7 o'clock right here on 12 News. Can't wait to see him in action. Yeah, I love the voice. Great show. All right, all right. Time. <laughs> look, like Emma, it look like Emma got Paul with that lightsaber. All right, thanks, guys. Here's a juicy question of the afternoon. Bang yeah, for both are. of them. <laughs> okay, so if you had to get one of those haircuts, which one would you choose? I'd probably go with the Kim Jong Un. I, I don't know. The, I wouldn't want the. You the, want to the dye your hair? I wouldn't want the President Trump comb over. <laughs> Although he's got a lot of hair for a comb over, but I don't know, it wouldn't quite fit me. I, I think I'd be, I think I'd be more comfortable with with that look. Oh God! <laughs> but, Maybe a Tech Team 12 question. Yeah. Hey, we do want to clear something up. We want to make an yes. apology. We're getting lit up here on Tech Team 12. <laughs> the the contract for the, uh, the Manny for Manny Machado was 300 million, million. over 10 years. We yes. we had a 300 thousand on our super, so we apologize for that. And also, some people are saying Giancarlo. Um, Stanton has the largest contract. It is $325 million, but that is a 13-year deal. This is a 10-year deal. So, you know, in terms of total money, yeah. Sure. But, uh, you know, for a 10-year deal, like uh, Alex Rodriguez got, I think, 275. million. Albert Pujols got, like, $250 million. Uh, Zach Grinke, our great pitcher with the Diamondbacks, he got a six-year, $206 million. So these guys are it's getting still paid, such folks. Crazy money. But we yes. do apologize for that, and uh, thank you for the correction. We appreciate you telling us. Mm -hmm. And, the, and, and they, were they were nice about it, too. And weigh in, please, again. Text us, 602-444-1212. If you got paid that kind of money, yeah, we're not what quick. would you buy? What's the first fun thing that you buy? So text us. All right. Time now to take a look at the stories coming up first at 430. An unexpected reunion between um, the valley we are tracking a freeze warning happening a lot of activity about to come oh, yeah. yes starting tonight so we have freezing temperatures on the horizon for tonight for places like An incredible story of an East Valley family trying to make up for lost time. After 44 years apart, a Scottsdale firefighter and his mom are just happy to know each other at all. Team 12's Ryan Cody has more on the emotional reunion.